Hello everyone and welcome to Makeup Monday. Today is the last Monday of February 2018. That's right, if you can believe it or not, we are already two months into 2018. What happened? Woke up, had New Year's, and now it's the end of February. What? What? Okay. So as is going to be a regular thing on my channel, if I if you weren't around for a couple Makeup Mondays, this is going to be an empties video. End of the month empties. Save up the empties for the whole month. Um, today's empties video is going to be a little shorter than last month, but that's all right. And because I keep everything in random plastic bags, there is going to be a bit of crinkling. And the first thing I'm going to get is the last thing I put in there. This is the Neutrogena um, Body Clear Body Wash. If you have body acne, um, you get spots on your back or on your bum, on your chest, which I do occasionally. This stuff helps. Not only has this been awarded numerous times for its its ability to do that. Um, the only problem is that it, as far as drugstore things go, it does lean a little bit more on the expensive side and you're only getting 8.5 fluid ounces. You don't need a lot of it. It doesn't have a very, it doesn't have any kind of a smell to it, um, which is good so that it, you know, it doesn't linger. It's not gonna mix badly with anything. Um, I take that back. It has a slightly strong smell. I've used this before. I've talked about it before. I really like it. It's an empty that's gone. Something I used to love that I currently have a dislike for. This is the Equate uh, Makeup Removing Wipes. Equate is the Walmart off brand that, you know, it goes, it usually copies Neutrogena and Garnier and stuff of that nature, L'Oreal. And I used to get their makeup wipes all the time, get their double pack because they were about 530 something for two packs. That's awesome. And they used to be perfectly amazing, but the last two packs that I got, they really didn't do what they normally did. They didn't get the makeup off very well. And I found, like when I went to go wipe my makeup off, instead of going, oh look, makeup is off, I'd go, oh. It really just moved the makeup over. So I don't know what they did to the formula or anything like that, but I didn't repurchase those. I actually got some micellar water instead of those. The next empties is my Equate Blemish Control um, compared to, you know, the St. Ives Apricot Scrub. This is the Equate version. I love it. I have a backup of it in my room, but I'm actually going through some other cleansers right now. This is the Sephora Sleeping Mask Rose Mask. Absolutely love it. I did a whole video on Sephora brand items and at four or five dollars, absolutely brilliant. This is another face scrub that I was going through. This is called the First Botany Cosmocuticals Cleopatra Gold Series. My fiance got this for me for Christmas and it's made with real 24K gold in it and it had these sugar scrubs and it had this very honey like smell and taste to it some of it got in my mouth while I was washing my face um, my Clarisonic did not like this scrub very much because the chunks of sugar were so big and you could use it as a mini mask in the shower and I liked it um, quite a bit. I don't know if I would 100% go out of my way to repurchase it, but having it was was pretty nice and it did really do a wonderful job exfoliating. This is the Alterna Hair Care um, Caviar Rejuvenation Protection and Shine uh, Leave-In Conditioner. It smelled nice. Um, I'm not exactly, because this was made for color treated hair and I do not have color treated hair, I'm not, I can't really comment on it. As a leave-in moisturizing thing, it was nice. Again, not anything I'm going out of my way for. Just grab a handful of things here, help reduce the crinkling. My Mederma Advanced Scar Things. I use this for the hyperpigmentation and acne scarring that I have on my face. I absolutely love it. It does take a while to use, but I do keep repurchasing it because everything gets better over time. This is the chapstick cake batter chapstick. 
and this has a delicious amazing sweet smell not the best for moisturization it's one of those things that if you don't keep it with you it's going to absorb really quickly and not leave you feeling smooth this is the it cosmetics brow um brow power and it has a little click here and the spoolie on the end it's a taupe color i really liked using this definitely considering repurchasing it but for right now, because of how I've been doing my bangs, I'm not desperate for that. This is the Differin Gel for acne. I suffer from adult, adult acne. The Differin Gel Spot Treatment was supposed to be different. If you've tried other salicylic and um, benzoyl peroxide products, this was supposed to have a different ingredient that actually helped. It was nice, but unfortunately my skin got used to it really quickly and after about a month of using it my skin didn't respond to it very well but that's not the product's fault the product was very good i recommend it but my skin once it gets used to something i have to change my my skincare up quite a lot to get it to respond this is the voluminous lash paradise from l'oreal and this is the waterproof version I loved this. Emily Noel talks about this all the time. They've been promoting it as a new product. I don't know if the Voluminous is the new product, but I think I feel like I've been hearing this and seeing it around for a long time. It's not what I would consider new, but whatever. The only gripe I have with this one is it gives you these feathery, long, voluminous length lashes, which is gorgeous. My problem with it was that when it said waterproof, <laughs> It meant waterproof. This stuff did not come up. I would be using makeup wipes. I was using virgin olive oil, you know, washing my face, and there would still be mascara, like as in just applied mascara on my lashes. So if you needed to go, you know, a really long time and you didn't want your lashes doing anything, the waterproof stuff would stay. They stayed in place. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Then... I have a brush. That might seem like a weird one, but this is the Real Techniques uh, buffing brush. Yeah. And uh, the glue came out. The, these are all still in place, but the entire little thing just came out and I couldn't get it back in. Uh, clearly, I was washing it in an aggressive way. I feel like this is my fault. But yeah, since I can't get this back in in a condensed manner, I'm just going to have to get rid of it. Another makeup applicator is my Real Techniques sponge. There's nothing wrong with the products themselves. I think the brush was my fault. And this is just old, as you can see. It's very, very used and stained even after washing it. It's been around for a few months and it just needs replaced, so that's an empties there. And then this is a sample I got of the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. I love everything that I've ever used from Origins. I also, it reminds me a lot of the Ole Hendrickson um, Truth Serum, which it's really nice. It gives you this energized look, but it doesn't have anything else. Really, it smells very citrusy, but for me, it really didn't do a lot. It wasn't a thick moisturizer. It doesn't have any SPF, and you can't double it up as a primer like you can with a retinol. So I, I liked it as a sample, not something that I personally would look for repurchasing. But then again, I don't have super dulled skin to, to have to combat. So maybe if you had dull skin that really needed that, that push, it would do a lot for you. But that is the end of the video, and I will see you for FCA Friday and for the next Makeup Monday. And if you want to see wedding-related stuff, you can click in the link below to my other channel. Bye!